it is that time of the festive season again and uh, many people will be occupied with uh, festing and parting. I would like to say uh, Jesus, the savior of the world, has come into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world may be saved through him. So he is the savior. He is mindful about the lost sheep and brought life to the fullest. So we as Christians at this time, I would like to caution us that uh, the second wave of COVID has just fallen upon our land and needs more extra care and caution. I would like us not to be ignorant and hide under the name of Jesus, but to emulate the, the, the saving acts of Christ, that we are conscious that uh, we are in flesh and blood, and flesh and blood can be affected and infected by the diseases. But at the same time, we should be able to take every possible measure to conscious uh, that has been put into place by our Minister of Health and other uh, stakeholders. Please be mindful of the fragile, of the weak, of the elderies, of the expecting mothers, of the young children, and even more so knowing that your body is the temple of Christ. And we need to take good care of this temple so that um, Christ may be glorified through us. So don't be ignorant, don't be reckless, be considerate and uh, exercise the act of love. And love means caring for yourself, caring for your neighbor, which is the great commandment. So during this Christmas, culminating to the new year, please let's take care, let's be conscious, let's be realistic, and let's all embark on fighting the, the COVID-19. Keep sanitizing, wash your hands, observe social distances, and also avoid crowded areas, uh, and pray even the more that the Lord will save our land. For the Lord our God, uh, from him comes our help. So I wish you a blessed uh, festive season and uh, we pray and hope that the new year 2021 will be a year of recovery, of good health and of uh, prosperity in every area of our, of our lives. And that uh, God will bless Namibia and heal our land. Be blessed.